Hello viewers, and welcome back to Front Page News. Well, nothing to see here folks other than another pathetic New Democratic Party spin and some petty revenge plot from hard-left activists posing as journalists. Tensions have been running high, especially in Alberta, as news broke that Premier Danielle Smith was recently contacted by the province's ethics commissioner, Marguerite Trussler. Trussler is undertaking an investigation into whether or not the premier has interfered with the administration of justice in relation to the COVID lawsuit involving a Calgary pastor. This is following the CBC's claims to have received a video recording of a conversation between Premier Smith and controversial Calgary street preacher Artur Pawlowski. The conversation took place less than a month before Pawlowski's trial in early February for COVID-related protests during last winter's Coots border crossing blockade. At the same time, Irfan Sabir, the NDP justice critic, doubled down on that demand Monday, saying that an independent investigation would have a broader scope than the ethics commissioner and could determine if other laws had been compromised. The NDP asked the ethics commissioner to explore if Smith had broken the Conflicts of Interest Act. The foundation of our justice system has been shaken, and Albertans deserve full answers on what happened here before they cast their vote in May, Sabir said at a news conference. But then, as the said video evidence is being examined more closely, it became clear that things were not as they seemed. And of course, in today's video, we will prove just that. To start with, let's listen to the viral video recording. We, once the process is underway, I can ask our prosecutors, is there a reasonable likelihood of conviction? And is it in the public interest? And I assure you, I have asked them that almost weekly, ever since I got started here. There have been a number of cases that have been abandoned at the last minute as they've gone through that assessment and i'm very hopeful that that will be the case for more cases but there isn't really a mechanism for me to order them to drop cases it's complicated that way it's just the way our legal system works i'm afraid apparently nothing here in this recording proves what the cbc and the hating opposition say it does the CBC seems to think this conversation would prove their earlier claim that Smith or her staff attempted to tamper with independent Crown prosecutions of alleged violations of public health restrictions. But here's the thing. It doesn't. Of course, January was not a very good month for the Premier. It began when Smith volunteered the information that she'd contacted Crown prosecutors over COVID-19-related court cases in a rather mistaken placement of language. A subsequent probe from Alberta Justice was commenced. However, it failed to uncover evidence of any email linking any communication. At the same time, CBC News had not seen the emails, and the story relied on unnamed insider sources. Due to the lack of evidence, the allegation was dismissed. The allegation had faded until recently, when CBC News and the Alberta NDP released the Pawlowski recording. Now, as CBC News first reported, there's a newly leaked video where Smith says the Premier's office had been in contact with prosecutors almost weekly. But of course, We've all listened to the video recording. And as usual, the Liberals-funded mainstream media and propaganda orchestrated have let its anti-UCP biases get in the way of reporting the truth. Sure, Smith's side of the conversation shows her to be sympathetic to anti-vaxxers and assorted pandemic extremists. And yes, it confirms that at the time, Smith was confusing the terms senior Justice Department bureaucrats and independent Crown prosecutors in her wording. But it also shows that she understood she could not pressure justice officials or prosecutors to drop individual charges. So, if you're already convinced that Smith is a little wingy when it comes to COVID, this CBC story will confirm that impression. But it does not prove she meddled directly in the justice system. At least, not the way Justin Trudeau did when he attempted to pressure his attorney general to give up the prosecution of favored Montreal engineering firm SNC-Lavalin. One interesting aside— the CBC makes a point of saying it has verified the recording it received. Why is that important? Because back in January, the CBC rushed to smear Smith with a claim that one of her staffers had emailed Crown prosecutors directly to pressure them on COVID cases. But later, the public broadcaster had to admit it had not seen the alleged emails before publishing its anti-Smith scoop. And as earlier mentioned, an extensive search of government email archives revealed no such communications. In the video, Smith does admit she's very sympathetic to Pawlowski's case, but that's understandable. She also agrees with him that it was a political decision that initiated this. But here's where the meddling allegation begins to fall apart. Smith clearly told Pawlowski that despite the political origins of his charges, it couldn't be a political decision to end it. She explains she cannot grant him amnesty. Indeed, 
she shows she understands she cannot even share her opinion about individual cases with officials. This is because rules restrict her to only asking questions of the justice minister and his senior bureaucrats about the reasonable likelihood of convictions and whether going to trial would be in the public interest. The said recording was clearly from the time in January when Smith was mixing up senior justice bureaucrats with Crown prosecutors, a failure of distinction which, of course, was embarrassing to her. However, even more encouraging is the fact that Smith had later stopped confusing justice officials with prosecutors themselves. This is an act of admitting one's flaws and showing genuine and practical steps to be better, which liberals have never done for once. Apparently, Danielle Smith only kept her promise to look into the pastor's charges and what could be done. And it is rare to find politicians that keep promises. At the same time, in a recent tweet, the executive director of Danielle Smith's office, Rob Anderson, stated, At no time did he contact the Crown Prosecution Service regarding any lawsuit or any other related matter, and to his knowledge, neither did he recall speaking with anyone charged with ongoing COVID-related offenses. So, viewers, there you have it. This is just another CBC bombshell that's more like a dud. This is another further biased coverage from a clown broadcaster, a liberal government mouthpiece with an old glory funded by the tax dollars of hard-working Canadian taxpayers. And of course, the CBC keeps sinking daily into a swamp of inaccuracies, propaganda, and lack of professionalism unprecedented in a national news agency in a democratic country. Danielle Smith is a smart and good person. Regardless of the hater's plot, she's more than ever dedicated to doing a good job for Alberta and giving narcissistic Trudeau and his liberal minions a reckoning. Stay tuned for more news viewers, and as always, please share your opinions with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest content. We also have a Telegram group for those interested in engaging in uncensored political discussions. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.